first up means first of all, and sometimes it can mean first in line for something.、Mm. For example, first up, we're going to talk about last year's sales. Then we'll move on to the new budget. Okay, first up, 或者是像 first of all， 就是首先什么什么。通常可能你后面呢还会提到第二或是第三点。像是刚刚 Aaron 老师的例句提到，首先我们要聊有关这个去年的业绩 sales。Then, 然后呢，我们才会继续看 the new budget， 也就是新的预算哦。Okay,、mm-hmm. so they've got a delicious chicken salad,、mm-hmm. but that's not it. No. The next line of the article reads,、mm-hmm. "This is just one of the salads they're going. We're going to offer." Wow, that sounds really good. So, this is just one of the salads they're going to offer. Wow, that sounds really good. So, this is just one of the salads they're going to offer. Plenty of options, healthier options.、Mm. So these are there are more than just salads as well. The next line of the article says, "This next picture is of our healthy vegetarian wrap." Now we're going to look at the adjective vegetarian first, which is spelled V E G E T A R I A N, vegetarian. Now a vegetarian can describe a person who does not eat meat and sometimes fish. It can also be used to describe things that don't have meat or sell meat. For example, a vegetarian restaurant.、Mm. In a sentence, we could use vegetarian like this. Abby is a vegetarian, so we're preparing a special meal for her at the barbecue. Okay. 当我们提到哎，如果你是一个吃素的人，素食者，我们可以说 I'm a vegetarian。在这里是当做名词来用。不过本课我们看到的呢是 vegetarian 当做形容词来用，表示素食者的什么什么，或是素食的什么什么。So for example, we talk about a vegetarian diet. That just、mm-hmm. means a diet that does not include meat. Right. 那提到了 vegetarian， 我们一定要来讲一下这个 vegan。Okay. 那 v e g a n。Mm-hmm. 这种人士呢，我觉得可以翻成是爱动物的完全素食者。那也有人直接翻成纯素哦。不过，嗯，其实呢，我我觉得可以更精准一点。其实他们除了不吃肉之外呢，他们也不使用或是穿戴任何与动物有关的制品，像是可能真皮大衣之类的。所以他们有点偏向这个呃环境动物的保护主义者。所以呢，相比之下 ，vegetarian 呢，其实就是比较一般。我们提到的就是不吃。肉的素食者，那与 vegan 不同的是呢，他们只是吃不吃肉呢，可是他们可能会使用动物制品哦。OK， 那如果呢，我们要表示呢，就是蛋奶素呢，因为很多人他们吃，呃，他们是可以吃 cheese 或者是蛋的话呢，呃，其实他们可以是分为 vegetarian， 但是蛋奶素我们要怎么说呢？我们可以用 ovo lacto vegetarian。All right. Now the word wrap, which was spelled W R A P, wrap is a noun. Now just remember that when we use the letters W and R together, we only hear the R sound. Now a wrap is a type of sandwich that's made on a thin piece of round bread, and then you wrap the bread over everything inside. Now it gets its name because it's kind of like you're wrapping a present, but instead you're wrapping sandwich. Oh, okay.、Mm. So, how can you use that in a sentence? We could use it like this. I think I'm going to order the ham and cheese wrap for lunch today. Yummy. Okay, 我们来看一下 wrap 在本课当中是当做名词来用，有卷饼的意思。那当然是薄薄的，其实比我们的润饼更粗一点的这个面粉皮啦。Okay, 那注意哦 ，wrap 呢，它如果当做动词的话，表示就是包的意思或是包装。Okay, so let's continue reading. Mm-hmm. Like the salad, there won't be just Just one wrap, though. The next line of the article says there will be several other wraps as well as more vegetarian dishes. Hmm. So, 接着我们看到他们说啦，他们也会提供更多其他的卷饼以及更多的素食餐点。Mm-hmm. Sounds like they've got lots more options、mm-hmm. for vegetarians. Then that will probably bring some new customers into the restaurant. Now you're probably right, and it's going to get even better than that. The next line of the article says. What's more, we will start offering fresh fruit juices with our meals. Wow, fresh fruit juice tastes amazing.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so the best is fresh orange juice that's just been squeezed. I、It、think. It is.、Okay. Yeah. Now the article is going to tell us what kinds of juice they'll have. It reads: the next picture shows apple juice, orange juice, and 
Tomato juice. Actually,、mm. I love tomato juice the most. Tomato juice is actually my favorite. No,、mm. I love everything about、Yay. that. So let's get back to our announcement here. We know all of the new items, but when are they coming out?、Yeah. The article says everything on this healthy new menu will be available from January first to 2017. Now we saw the adjective available here. It's spelled. A V A I L A B L E, available, and it means present or ready to use. So you can't get them yet, but they'll be <laughs> you'll be able to buy them on January first, two thousand seventeen, and every day after that date. Another way to use available in a sentence is to say, tickets for this show will be available starting at nine a.m. tomorrow morning. Okay, available 在本科是个形容词，表示可获得的、可利用的。所以这个健康的性菜单的餐点呢，其实将在二零一七年的一月一日上市哦。I still have a question、mm-hmm. though. I want to know what other kinds of dishes they'll have, and、okay. where can I get information on what's inside the meals? So、well, I have an easy answer for you. The article says you can check our website for more information. Now the noun website is spelled W-E-B-S-I-T-E, and It's a page on the internet where you can find information, especially about companies or organizations. Okay, website 当然就是网站这样子的意思喽。Okay, and we also saw this word information, right?、Mm-hmm. We did. It's spelled I N F O R M A T I O N. Information. Now, information is facts or details that tell you about. A person, an event, or a situation. For example, we could say, "I'm not sure how to get to our hotel. Let's ask that woman for information." Okay, information 当然就是资讯资料。注意它是不可数名词，所以我们不可以加 s. So, okay, so that comes to the end of our article today. Now, but wait, we have the last line of the announcement, which、mm-hmm. says. We hope to see you all at our Top Burger restaurant soon. Thank you again for coming. Okay, so 最后当然呢，这个发言的人他要谢谢大家。他说再次感谢你的莅临。我们希望在 Top Burger 餐厅很快就可以见到您哦。It's always nice to end an announcement politely like that. It is. I think so too. Well, we're almost done with day one of our article, but let's move on to today's for you chat first to finish up.